Hello beautiful, amazing world. Today I would love to speak about authenticity and how it's earned. You see, being authentic, being and coming from your own soul, your own values you have built, your own experiences you have gone through, pains, sufferings, and also healing over these sufferings, have brought about a certain character. Of course, this character can always be worked upon, always be transformed and transmuted and purified to high degrees. And it is never an end to this. It is refinement. It is polishing. Finding out what is our weaknesses, what is our strengths, and following up on what we are good at. There are countless human beings here that are good at very varied and differentiated things. And that is why we do not need to be good at every single thing. But of course, having a certain overall understanding of the spirit brings about a whole world picture where you can also see the details. The authenticity also requires bravery, courage. Every single one just want to get by and just being in a comfortable place, not being seen too much, not shine out too much, not make too much noise and so on. This allows for a status quo because no one truly wants to go beyond their comfort. But this comfort brings also, a, bring, also brings about unhealth, illness, because we are not ruminating, moving, working upon our inner spirit and soul, contemplating, understanding concepts and experiences, knowing where human beings are coming from through their perspectives and perception knowing what they feel and think about, knowing what their beautiful values are, seeing from what culture they come from, see what affects them in everyday life by letting it affect them, seeing what affects us, see how we are in relation to the rest of the world. We can never neglect ourselves. We are not exempt, as I said earlier, from the morals and the ethics and love. If nothing else, we should have double the pressure on us because we constantly try to find these things to help the world, not to dominate, not to man manipulate, lie or oppress. We are here to awaken. We are here to expand. We are here to shine out the soul and to truly appreciate each other. This requires active steady being and doing it requires us to want to do this if we do not want to do this the only thing we will do is go away from ourselves and express why we do not want to do this even though the obvious reason to do such things is for the health is for being sharp being intelligent but also also loving and emotional and actually understanding other human beings, where we come from as a culture, where we come from as spirits. There are so many areas of life. Alone, there are 12 perspectives with different moods of viewing them. Seven different moods, 12 different ways of absorbing the world content. There are 23 then, I would dare say. Yeah, around 23. I think that's what he said. Of course, to be aware and be able to put all these things into pieces take time. It is always an ongoing thing. And the more you learn, the more you need to understand that, whoa, there are more to learn. If you are bored in this world, there is something you haven't prioritized correctly. This world is not to be bored by. This world screams, please understand me, study me, find out who I am. From the physical material to the re reflection of the life, uh, the life formative forces 
to the desires and movements and to the wisdom and architecture of it all. All of these things are part and partial of this. And the more we train our body, mind and soul, body, soul and spirit to be able to... What is that? What is that? What is that? Who are that? And absorb and learn from it objectively as best as we can. The training, practice. And the more you do this, the stronger it becomes. The more authentic in it you become. And the more authentic you become, the more of the divine can shine through what you speak, what you do, what you feel and think. It becomes a divine reflectional apparatus. I don't like saying apparatus. Organism. A mirror of the divine. We are the divine thoughts. The divine have thought us up. And we are that mini little, mini little universe in this big universe. With our small little thoughts. That is part of this cosmic thought. Of this cosmic love. To absorb and immerse yourself in these kinds of concepts. In the life, in the spirit, in the love, in the artful presence of the sublime beings of the hierarchy. The more we know where to look for them. The more we know where to look for ourselves. The more we know to look for what we do want to see in this world. The more we become authentic the more we become a universally individual soul. An individual soul that has chosen to be universally cosmic. But also in detail, in all the small things that happens. We are a big part, but we have many, many small parts too. And all of them are important. All of them have their place. And that is the gratitude we give to this co- creation of beauty, of wonderful artwork. I can't help but just feel awestruck and overwhelmed by all of these things that you actually can become aware of if you truly choose to. And a whole lot of our personality and parts of our morals, ethics, love and many of our cultural Culture, what should we call it? Elegances, more or less, have disappeared and become decadent. Which is why we need new impulses to introduce to the culture we already have, to the mold we already have formed. And fill it with new loving content so that it transforms completely to something that is meant to be for all of mankind. But every single individual one have to be part of this, have to choose to be part of this, because if they choose to wait for someone to take care of it, it will take a whole lot of longer time. But if you are participating in the cosmos, in the processes, in everything, and try to get to know the many differentiations and how they cooperate, how they fight against each other, and so on. I am just giving ideas and inspirations to what you yourself can find out about yourself. I am never saying do it like this, do it like that, do it like that. I'm saying try for yourself, try to find, for example, this and this. I'm just throwing out examples of what I do. And you can gain of those examples. And maybe you just needed one or two different ones. And then you, oh, Eureka! (laughs) That is the best feeling. I have had that many times and it always comes to me. I know it will come always. It's like, what? What? (laughs) Uh, Beautiful, beautiful. I just love this beautiful life. And yes, there are many despair moments, dark and brooding. But if we do not cultivate the healing forces within us, to be able to affect the world to a better remedial way. How can we ever heal 
If we are only focusing on, oh, look at all this, look at all that. Isn't it horrible? Isn't it terrifying? Isn't it? Yeah. But instead of doing so, we know they exist. We know they are part of this world. We know exactly what is happening. But we do not let it distract us. We focus so we can affect it and form it and heal it. Like true spiritual healing beings. This is what I have to say today. May the divine guide us all on this beautiful path on evolution and growth. Love you all and thanks for listening to me. Goodbye.